Welcome to this Windows channel and this is another video in our little series on using the calendar app in Windows 10. How do you add an appointment in the calendar app and if you have multiple accounts how do you choose which account will have the sync possibilities of that appointment and of course we'll look at the little bells and whistles that you can add to any appointment that you add to the calendar app. So simply go to the calendar app and of course you need to have a account so check out if you want to add a Gmail account I've got a video that shows that and also make sure that you have some account uh, if you don't it will ask you to add one uh, and depending on what you use you'll uh, simply choose either Microsoft account or you can add a Google Calendar account if you want so once you're in the calendar app of course you have different ways of viewing so you can view a full month for example or you can view a week or you can view even the full year if you want so simply choose the view that you want to have. I like the monthly view because it's just perfect. And if you have to change the date, you'll see that there's little arrows that go up and down in the dates. So say, for example, I want to add a appointment for July 15th. I'll simply go to July and then I'll go to 15 and just click on the 15th. Now here's what you do. So you enter appointment. So here I'm going to say uh, test appointment. You'll choose the date, the time after choosing, of course, your date and the name. You have to remove that little check mark. Here's all day, but you can remove it and say, okay, test appointment. I want it for um, let's say noon 12 and it's going to end at 2 p.m. Here we go. Location, of course, uh, let's say um, I'm going to put uh, 123 uh, Saver Street. <laughs> and then you got to choose your calendar. If you have more than, if you only have one, you'll have one here. But if you have more than one like me, you choose which calendar you want to use. So I want to use the calendar that is my main Gmail account. And you see the top of the appointment window changes color because it will match what account you're using. As you see here, there's different colors depending on what you use. So here I've chosen my main Gmail account. You can, if you want, click more details. What this will bring is the possibility to not only add an account, uh, an account, an appointment, but it will also give you more um, on what you want to do. For example, here, reminder, 15 minutes. So you can choose. Do you want to have a reminder just before? Do you want it to repeat? So if you click on the more options, of course, you have more options. And so you can, of course, add stuff like invite someone. So, for example, the, uh, in a Google Calendar, it will be shared with your contacts. So you can say, well, okay, I want to have an appointment, but it's with uh, my friend Patrick. So I'll just invite Patrick on the people side here. So he'll get a notification that I've actually added an appointment uh, to for him. Once it's done, all you have to do is click Save and Close. And here it goes. It says Test Appointment. It's right here on the um, calendar for July 15th. And I'll have a notification. It's going to remind me 15 minutes early because that's what I set up in my uh, settings. And it's as easy as that. Of course, I chose to use Google Calendar, that means that if I go to my Google Calendar, if I go to my phone, uh, for example, if I look at my phone right now, uh, which is synced with my Google Calendar, all I'll have to do is, if I go to the month of July, here we go, and I go on the 15th, and I, you can't see it because I, I have the phone in my hand, but I do see in my uh, Android phone, and now it says test appointment, 12 to 1400 hours or noon to 2 p.m. and it gives me the details of everything and it adds the reminder here too so my phone will also 
giving me a reminder 15 minutes before, which is pretty cool. So it's that easy to add a appointment in calendar. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. If you have any comments, uh, if you have um, you know problems, or you want to know something about Windows, you can ask, and we'll try to post a video. If you like our videos, why not subscribe? You'll know when new videos are online, and give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.